My name is Maya Lee Hartman. I use they them pronouns and I have been a full-time practicing artist for about five years now. I feel very lucky. I grew up with a very creative father, so I grew up watching him draw and paint, and I think that was like really my first introduction and just really being encouraged to play. Um, I like give a lot of credit to my childhood and spending time with my sister, um, mostly getting into our family photos and cutting up these really precious photos and making collages that felt really precious to us and scrapbooks. And that's actually informed a lot of um, the aesthetic that I hold today within my practice. A lot of my work examines family memories. So really when I'm, when I'm looking at this archive of family photos, that is what becomes the images, the layering and collaging. Um, that are my paintings, which you can see one behind me here. Um, I'm thinking about themes of nostalgia and ways of really inviting my audience in to connect um, with their own memories, right? I think that's something that's super special for me is looking at photos from childhood, whether they're my own, whether they're my dad's, my grandma's, um, friends, or other family members. Dinkra symbols, which are West African symbols that originated in uh, the region that is now Ghana and Ivory Coast. There's so much wisdom that is wrapped in that, and for me, that's something that's really been important to hold within my practice um, because I grew up with my grandmother and my great grandmother, and after they passed, just really thinking about. I don't have a lot of black elders in my life. And so I think a lot about how I want the kind of ancestor that I want to be, um, as well as like that being my way of remaining connected to my loved ones that have passed. Thinking about like the demands that, the demands or expectation that people have of black people to speak on, I think, like tragedy and, you know, there's, we're surrounded by that, that is our reality, the, the hardships. Thinking about my own personal grief and loss of my black family members, um, really wanting my practice to be a space of, I look at it as a space of grief, but one that is generative, one that is me moving through that and that is seeking those spaces of comfort. And I'm wanting to also like offer that as something for other people. It's like, you know, life is nonstop and the things that we experience, especially hardships, are also nonstop. And I'm wanting to create images and experiences that like hold people.